Hi, I'm Alina with Youth Collective. So we all have strongly held opinions, right? We're passionate about them, and most of the time we think everyone should believe what we believe. But what about when you bump up against a person who thinks something totally different? What then? It can be really frustrating, and oftentimes conversations like that go round and round in circles, never coming to any kind of resolution. But if we're gonna move towards taking meaningful action together, we need to find ways to have difficult and productive conversations. Don't worry though, I have some tips. Next time you're talking to someone with a different opinion about reusable tote bags, standardized testing, or even something as big as reproductive rights, try using the technique of GROW to guide your conversation. GROW stands for goals, reasons, openness, and what's next. Think about your goals for the conversation. I think we often approach tough conversations, especially ones we're really, really passionate about, hoping that we're gonna change the other person's mind. But what if your goal was to instead understand the other perspective more fully? What if your goal was to get you outside of your bubble and deepen your own thinking? This could make the conversation a lot more productive. Focus on the reasons behind the viewpoint and less on the viewpoint itself. Putting some distance between yourself and the ideas and focusing on the reasons lets people know you're open to exploring why people hold certain beliefs and that you're not just arguing to win. It can help you get to the core of where that person's coming from. It's also a great way for you to explain your beliefs so maybe the other person can better understand you too. Approach the conversation with openness. No one wants to have a conversation with someone who's determined to change their mind. So think about signaling positivity towards the person you're speaking with. This can mean acknowledging their contributions, valuing their opinion, and actively listening to what they have to say. If you avoid the temptation to persuade them and instead listen with openness, there's a better chance of having a productive dialogue. And what's next? These conversations, especially the big ones, often can't be solved in a single swoop. Think of each conversation as a form of research that can better inform the way you approach ideas in the future and can help you get better at expressing your ideas long term, not just in this one conversation. So next time you're about to get heated because somebody said that Nicki Minaj is not the queen of rap, we gotta think of these ways to approach that conversation. Let's grow together.